Yo, what's going on guys? It's Kobe and today I have another highly requested Black Ops 2 tips and tricks video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at and comparing the effects of quick draw and dexterity. Since the game first came out, there has been a lot of confusion of what these things actually do for you, which one is better to use, which one helps you the most, and there's been a lot of popular misconceptions about the usefulness of using either one of them, or both at the same time, so that's what we're going to be going over today, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys, hopefully clear some stuff up as well as give you some tips based on what we find. So the sole purpose of selecting the quick draw handle as an attachment is to decrease the time to aim down sights. For assault rifles, SMGs, and shotguns, the time to ADS is decreased by 50%, while for the LMGs it's only decreased by 25%. And of course weapons that take longer to ADS to begin with receive more benefit when using quick draw. Very simple, very effective, and just very straightforward. Here are a couple extremely slowed down examples of the impact of quick draw. You can clearly see the effect, the weapon with quick draw obviously aims down quicker. This again is really slowed down, but still, even in real time, you can see the difference. However, when it comes down to aiming down from sprinting, you really see no difference, and I thought that was very strange. You can see maybe a small difference between the two, but nowhere near the impact it had when ADSing from a standard position. Now moving on to dexterity, we see some gray area, and some questions are raised of what its effects actually are. So in the create a class menu, it states you aim in faster after sprinting, as well as mantle and climb faster. So the first thing I found a little off was mantling walls, however this will apply to mantling up anything in the game. I found zero difference in the time to climb whether I was using dexterity or not. There are other uses for the perk, but in this scenario it's rendered useless. The next test I did was again sprinting to aiming, however this time I did it with dexterity and not quick draw. And as you can see the difference is so minute, if this was in real time you wouldn't see a difference at all. So again in this scenario it is useless as well. So quick draw and dexterity really did nothing as far as aiming and after sprinting, so I thought I should try them and use them together and I found you actually see a sizable difference when comparing someone using quick draw and dexterity opposed to using neither, but still that would mean dexterity is useless if you aren't using quick draw as well. So I decided to test the time it takes to fire your weapon after sprinting and see if dexterity affects that and sure enough you see a noticeable difference in the time it takes to go from sprinting to firing your weapon and we all know how important that is in a fast paced shooter like Call of Duty. So to kind of summarize everything, quick draw is used to only aim down your sights faster. However, alone it barely affects the time to aim in after sprinting. Dexterity, as far as I can see, is used to fire your weapon faster when sprinting, and contrary to what it says in the description, does not affect the time to aim in after sprinting, which I think is kind of strange. I'm not sure if that's what Treyarch meant to do, but the phrase aim faster after sprinting makes it sound like you should be able to aim faster after sprinting, but after testing, I really didn't see it. But when you pair dexterity and quick draw together, you do see a fairly big difference in the time to ADS after sprinting, but again, not as much when you're using them separate. But I hope this doesn't confuse you guys too much. I still think dexterity is a really good perk, easily one of the best if not the best in the perk 3 slot. Being able to shoot faster after sprinting is really really helpful in Call of Duty, but again, contrary to popular belief, it does not seem to help you aim in any faster. But what do you guys think? After seeing this, are you thinking about changing your classes, maybe taking out dexterity, or maybe just adding on quick draw to really get the full effectiveness out of both of them? Let me know down below, but for me personally, I really like quick draw and dexterity on my submachine guns. I just feel so much faster in my movement and my reaction time. Turning corners and being able to shoot before my opponent helps me out a ton. But for assault rifles, I still like dexterity, just not so much quick draw, because assuming I'm in longer range gunfights anyway, I don't really need that split second aiming in that I like to have in close quarters. But again, that's just me, leave your thoughts down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's not that long, but it did take a ton of time to make, so if you could leave a like and a favorite, that would be awesome. And like I said, I got this video idea from a subscriber, so if you guys have a video that you'd like to see, feel free to message me, tweet me, or just leave it in the comments. I already have a bunch of videos that I want to personally already do, but I'd be happy to make a video upon request as well. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Check out my last two videos if you missed them, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.